Last month, I went on a spontaneous weekend trip from Tokyo to Shizuoka. I wanted to get away from the city, but I didn't want to go too far, so I visited a small town in Shizuoka called Fukuroi. I explored the town, and of course, I had to try some of the delicacies they had to offer there, so come along and join me on this weekend trip. Fukuroi is a small city in Shizuoka Prefecture, and it's less than a two hour bullet train ride from Tokyo. When you take the bullet train down, make sure to sit on the right hand side so you get a good view of Mount Fuji. I never get sick of this view no matter how many times I go on the bullet train. <laughs> After arriving at Fukuroi Station, I took the taxi to one of the three famous temples in the area. This temple is not only a popular spot to come to to pray, but it also displays a different exhibition every season. Since Hinamatsuri was coming up in March, I wanted to see the exhibition they had for that. <coughs> Every year on March 3rd, Hina Matsuri is celebrated in Japan. Hina dolls are displayed in homes where girls live and special dishes are eaten on this day. It's said that the Hina dolls will protect children and keep bad things like accidents and diseases away. I've never seen this many Hina dolls in one setting before since usually each doll costs quite a lot of money. So seeing a site like this is pretty rare. For lunch, I decided to try a traditional Buddhist meal. It's made without meat or fish and focuses on seasonal vegetables and mountain plants. It's a good lunch option for vegetarians and vegans as well. A little behind Kasurisai Temple is another one of the three famous temples of Guroi. Yusanji Temple is hidden away in the mountains, so it has a very tranquil atmosphere to it. <laughs> Next, I decided to go for a little stroll around the temple grounds. If you ever need to escape the city a little bit, this is the temple you should go to because it's just so relaxing and there aren't many people here. I decided to get some sweet sake and call it a day. Fukuroi is also well known for their melons that they spent money making this monument. I decided to try their locally produced melons at this melon cafe. They had everything from freshly squeezed melon juice to melon bread, so if you're not a big fan of melons, this place is probably not for you. The cafe was really cute inside and I liked how the greenhouse was made into a cafe. I was really excited to try the melon when it came because I'm a big fan of melons and fruit, however sometimes they can be a little bit pricey in Japan. Next, I wanted to check out Fukuroi's 50,000 capacity sports stadium. I remember watching some Rugby World Cup games that were held here, so I wanted to check it out for myself and also see the museum that was dedicated to the 2019 Rugby World Cup games. They also hosted some of the 2002 FIFA World Cup's biggest matches here, so if you're a sports fan, why not visit? It's free, but it's probably better to come when there's a sports game happening. Next, we went to the last of the three famous temples in Fukuroi, Hatta-san Temple. 
あるんです八田さんと加水菜と三人ってあるんですけどそれぞれ特徴があって加水菜は火の株をその火が暴れないようにとか火を使っていろんなことがうまくできるようにっていう花房の神様を祀っている場所になりますで、湯山寺っていうのは目の霊山目の神様がいる場所で自分の目が見えないとやっぱりいろんなことができなくなりますので目を大切にしたり目が治るようにって言ってその目をあの敬う場所の,あの神様になりますで八田さんっていうのはあのこちらは厄除けの観音様厄除けっていうのは悪いことがないようにってお願いするのが厄除けという形でここのお団子が有名って聞いたんですけれどもお、はい、団子はですね、はいあのー約150年前に遠佐田港に、ええ、あのこのお団子をどうですかって言って、ええ、この、えー、団子屋さんの前あのいた寺師の八代門さんって方がいらっしゃったんですけど侍、うん、さん、えー、さ侍が持ってったところ美味しいこれはいいものだねっていうことで<笑>串団子っていう名前で命名してもらって。ええそれから帰ってきたらよしこれは褒めてもらったから、はい、名物のものにしようということで、えー、もう150年続いて同じものをずっと出し続けてる今のこの場所の人たちだったり遠くの海外の方らも含めて皆さんが来ていただいてその場所を知ってもらって楽しんでもらうということがやっぱりあの大切なことかなと思いますので。そうですね。それが一番です、ね。Yesterday when I was going around to the different temples, I didn't really know the difference, and I think it's very important before you go to a shrine or a temple in Japan to know the background story. Because once you know the background story, you can appreciate the temple or shrine a lot more, and it's also very interesting. So thank you to Uchi Yamada-san for explaining everything in such、um, easy words. The kushi dango was so good, I even got some to bring home for my friends. For lunch, I decided to have it at the shopping street at the entrance of the temple grounds. <laughs> We decided to go into this restaurant and try one of their unique dishes. <laughs> <laughs> before heading home, I had some time to kill before my train came, so I stopped by the tourist information center. If you have any questions about the area, just stop by and ask them for some help. 